Rookit. The software included a music player but silently installed a Rookit which limited the user's ability to access the CD. Software engineer Mark Rusinovic, who created the Rookit detection tool Rookit Revealer, discovered the Rookit on one of his computers. A small number of Rookits may be considered utility applications by their users, for example, a Rookit might cloak a CD-ROM emulation driver, allowing video game users to defeat anti-piracy measures that require insertion of the original installation media into a physical optical drive to verify that the software was legitimately purchased. The Subvert Laboratory Rookit developed jointly by Microsoft and University of Michigan researchers, is an academic example of a virtual machine-based Rookit, while Blue Pill software is another. A firmware Rookit uses device or platform firmware to create a persistent malware image in hardware, such as a router, network card, hard drive, or the system BIOS. The Rookit hides in firmware, because firmware is not usually inspected for code integrity. Rookits employ a variety of techniques to gain control of a system, the type of Rookit influences the choice of attack vector. The fundamental problem with Rookit detection is that if the operating system has been subverted, particularly by a kernel-level Rookit, it cannot be trusted to find and authorized modifications to itself or its components. The behavioral-based approach to detecting Rookits attempts to infer the presence of a Rookit by looking for Rookit-like behavior. Defective rookits can sometimes introduce very obvious changes to a system, the Aileron rookit crashed Windows systems after a security update exposed a design flaw in its code. Should a rookit attempt to hide during an antivirus scan, a stealth detector may notice, if the rookit attempts to temporarily unload itself from the system, signature detection can still find it. Signature-based detection methods can be effective against well-published rookits but less so against specially crafted, custom root rookits. Forcing a complete dump of virtual memory will capture an active rookit, allowing offline forensic analysis to be performed with a debugger against the resulting dump file, without the rookit being able to take any measures to cloak itself. Manual removal of a rookit is often extremely difficult for a typical computer user, but a number of security software vendors offer tools to automatically detect and remove some rookits, typically as part of an antivirus suite, 495B90DDF17A.